Hi there, and welcome. I'm Darren Ferguson, a film and video student at Full Sail University. Today we will be looking at a brief history of film editing, the tools that helped it evolve, and the editors and films that impacted the industry. Scissors and tape were the original tools used for editing films when cuts were introduced to the film industry. Films were edited or cut to create transitions from one scene to the next. A good example of this is The Great Train Robbery from 1903. Films in this era were often recorded in a single studio space with a single camera, with a single camera angle. The director of the film was Edwin S. Porter. He was first to realize you can cross cut to show simultaneous action scenes in different places to create a narrative. The first film that demonstrated this was The Life of the American Fireman. The other influential filmmaker and editor of the time was D.W. Griffith. He is referred to as the father of film. He was the first filmmaker to understand the importance of editing and the psychological effect it could have on viewers of the film. It was not until 1924 where the industry would have the first big editing breakthrough. The Moviola. It was the first editing machine created by Ewan Surrier. The machine's function is to edit and trim the unwanted scenes from a clip. In 1923, Lenin founded the National Film School, where its most important teacher developed the theory of the montage. The montage theory was best originally displayed in the Soviet film Battleship Potemkin in 1925, the scene of the stroller going down the steps as the bloody fight occurs around it. In 1948, Alfred Hitchcock's Rope introduced the idea of making a film as one continuous shot. Ultimately, it took 10 shots and 10 cuts to achieve this effect. He used the blackouts of the moving camera behind something very dark to place his film cuts. This then gave the perception that the film was one continuous shot. The 1960s brought about a very creative era for film editing. Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho brought the Soviet montage to become the psychological thriller by imprinting psychology into the character. The film focused on facial expressions mixed with scene cuts. The faster the scene cuts, the more scared one would become. The Spaghetti Western is born in 1966 with the good, the bad, and the ugly. The film introduces the use of cuts from wide angle shots straight to close-ups and would influence countless films thereafter. The end of the 1960s brought us The Wild Bunch, the film that would mix slow motion intercuts with normal speed footage, creating a greater sense of drama. This technique was assisted by using multiple angles, cameras, and speeds of each scene, allowing the greater creativity and editing to enhance the film. Godfather, the original 1972 mob movie, brought us one of the greatest uses of juxtaposition in film editing. The ability to intercut shots in ways that create new meanings. The sequence of the baptism and assassinations. The scene is the connection between the two parallel narratives that emerge in the film, done all through masterful editing. The 1980s brought some technology to the forefront of film editing. In 1985, Harry by Quantello was the first all-around video editing and digital composing system. However, it was limited to 80 seconds of uncompressed 8-bit video. Two years later, Apple would launch Avid Media Composer, which is still used today to edit films. And in 1991, Adobe launched Premiere, now the industry-leading software for video editing for all levels of editors. 1999 saw the third software for editing come to the industry with Apple's Final Cut Pro editing system. These three software platforms now are what changed the modern editing scene since they came around, creating a more precise way for editors to get the correct scenes down to the microsecond in today's editing world. It also has influenced new forms of editing due to its precision capabilities that are continuously evolving in the digital age. Film editing has come a long way since using scissors and tape. However, the use of old film techniques is still as prevalent as ever. Editors have just fine-tuned and reinvented their own twist on these age-old techniques. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the history of editing techniques, the films that pushed the envelope, and the technology that digitized the industry to what it is today.